everyone, I'm Glasses Geek and welcome to my channel. I decided to go ahead and record this transformation of the room since I was going to have to rearrange it and clean it up anyway. It was a lot of hard work. It actually took a full week. I did not expect it to take a full week. And I just wanted to do a little uh, voiceover intro here to let everyone know that there's going to be some oddballs and oddities about this room. One of them is going to be all the crosses everywhere. This room is... It's haunted. I'm sorry. It is haunted as flying flip, let's just say. And that's why the crosses are everywhere. And it especially affects the electronics. Now, why it affects the electronics, I don't know. It it bothers me. It bothers the electronics. But so far, crosses are the only thing that seem to lessen it and lessen the entire haunting. Um... I'm, I'm going to try other symbols and see what other, if, if any other symbols work. But right now, you know, being from a Christian background, the only thing I know, knew to use was crosses. And they have been working. They haven't been working great, but they have been working at least a little bit. And I noticed that the more of them I put in a room, the better the room feels and the better the electronics work and the better the le the less I am bothered. So that's why you're going to see crosses, you know, just littered everywhere at times. So there's, there's an actual reason for that. So the rest of this is going to have really bad audio because it's going to be from my camera. And also, uh, as I'm watching the video here, there's something going on with the video editor and there's lots of jumping and just kind of skittering with the video. I don't know. Please forgive me for that. I'm using a free video editor and I don't know why it's doing that. So, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I, I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that you enjoy the transformation of the whole thing. I hope to be able to take this room further and even manage to move out entirely. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So yeah, enjoy the video. Bye. So this is the kind of beginning of day two. I've been up for a little while now and this is how far I've gotten it. Hello, it's voiceover me again and I just thought I'd let you know that there are going to be parts of this video that are completely muted when it comes to the sound. And the reason for that is because there was copyrighted music or television playing in the background. And so I had to absolutely cut it out that or, uh, you know, people were making quite a lot of noise. And also, I just want to let you know, this is a Jack and Jill. This is what a Jack and Jill bathroom and bedroom looks like where it has two bedrooms on either side of a bathroom. And so that was the doorway that you saw there. And this right here is just the... Uh, I don't know. I call it an altar area, but actually it isn't. It's just a area where I'm displaying good looking things. And right now, since that cabinet is painted pink on the inside, I'm displaying everything that is pink in it. Uh, currently, right now in this video, it's, it's still quite a mess. So yeah. But I just thought I would step in with another voice over here really fast and just let you know that there are going to be parts of this video where the... Uh, Audio is either muted or cut entirely, and it's really, it's because of copyrighted sounds in the background. So don't be surprised if the audio suddenly goes out. There's nothing wrong with your system. It's actually the video, you know, that or I might just end up doing voiceovers for all the silent areas. Anyway, bye. Okay, I just wanted to step in really fast here and let everyone know that 
see those two doorways right there in the wall and it looks like there's a third doorway on the left that is the jack and jill bathroom and this situation really i'm sorry but it really sucks when it comes to having space and room to really decorate a room that that literally takes away an entire wall in which you can use it to put a bed up against a desk up against and uh the only time it's really worth anything is when you're sick but at the exact same time it's not because you still have three doors to shut if you can see there you have the door for the other bedroom you have the door for this bathroom and then you have the hallway door that you have to shut and if it was the way it used to be you would have actually four doors to shut because you'd still have to shut the door uh that went from the sink room into the toilet and bathtub room or the room that held the toilet and bathtub so i just thought i would say that really really fast here and yeah this room is still at this point quite a mess and at this point of me filming it I wasn't wanting to film it I was wanting to just completely forget about filming it and just get it over and done with but I'm I'm actually glad that I actually captured it I'm glad that I actually filmed it and yeah that's it for this voiceover um also I guess I'll see you in the next few minutes or the next voiceover in this video. <laughs> Bye. Well, I've had a tough couple of days and But this is how far I've managed to get the room. So far, I managed to completely strip the bed and make it, as you can see here. And I'll show you in a minute. And while it's still quite a bit of a mess, it's, it is, you know, shaping up quite well.
So I did not expect this to uh, take all week. This is Saturday now. And I'm considering this done. <laughs> Granted, there's still some areas that I need to work on, such as here. But I managed to, I managed to take the bins that were over here, and uh, the majority of them, I took them, and I put them over here, and I turned them with my little artboard, not really little, but my nice big, well painted artboard. <laughs> I turned them into a little desk to hold all of my art supplies and anything else that I'm not using at the moment. So when I need to bring my art stuff over here to the working desk, I can. When I need to put the electronics over here, I can. Or I can put the electronics on the bookcase and I cleared out the bookcase a little bit. And thankfully I got a full set of little drawers now from the study case I need it and this whole area is still full of boxes and a little shoe shelf that's rickety and I need to fix but at least and I got all of my holiday wear <laughs> Halloween and Christmas and whatnot got all my holiday wear there but um yeah so this corner is a bit of a mess and junky and this desk is going to be a working desk here obviously and you know, and then there's the art but desk, then, and then here's this. I made that beaded curtain by hand, and I'm shocked at how heavy a beaded curtain is. Those are pony beads, and I think I'll just come over here. I always have to step on the bed just to get around it. But yeah, here's this. And I love the idea of beaded curtains and just kind of stringy curtains. And I got lots of ribbon, so I think I'm going to go ahead and um, and let's show you the cabinet here. I'm going to go ahead and try to make all kinds of different type of beaded curtains with feathers and string and ribbons. And I just basically used what I had already. I just unpacked the boxes and took all kinds of random stuff and took things that were the same color, <laughs> such as here. These are little jogging lights, and I found out that uh, I should really light them up. I found out that uh, they're really good for decoration. See these little jogging lights? And I just took some candles. These are candles that my mom had. And these are candles that I had. These are old. These are from 
Oh man. I got this thing. This this was a beautiful little thing. You light these little candles and you float them in water in this thing. And it's one of the most beautiful ideas. And I hope to still use these little candles like that sometime. Sometime soon. You know? <laughs> Let's see the whole thing all lit up. So here we go, the cabinet. This has all my beads in it. As you can tell. It's voiceover me back and I just thought I'd let y'all know that okay the reason I'm recording this and really looking at it uh closely is it because is it is because uh it is the most detailed and heavily decorated and I I think it's the most beautiful uh though arguably on the other side of the room there's plenty of blue stuff and I think that looks absolutely gorgeous too especially with the blue fabric and the blue glass and everything and even the blue lights but this pink cabinet and all of its pink and red and red lights and everything, I think it's absolutely gorgeous, uh, along with the indigo and the dark blue. And it just, it really looks beautiful. And I am going to try to put it in the background of as many of my videos as I possibly can. But yeah, so that's, I mean, I, I did... This, this thing is heavily decorated and it's set up obviously specifically for looking good, not really for functioning so much. And I did it specifically for the video and I just, I thought I'd show it off. So yeah, that's it. And then of course the door or behind the door. So this took all week, um, and I'm still kind of surprised about how it took all week. So then, of course, you know, there's this corner and And what I can't believe is that this whole room took all week. <laughs> I mean, it was very big and hard to move those boxes over there. That's underneath, you know, those boxes that are underneath the, uh, those are four huge blue tubs that are underneath there. Huge. And, um, they have a board on top and that's a little, it comes out about, comes up to about waist high, the little Rubbermaid tubs and, uh, has a, you know, sheet over it, and then of course there's at least four more little tubs there, and a very small one there, so, but yeah, this whole room, a 
was a lot of hard work and it was just kind of shocking how how much just making the bed changed really kind of cleaned up the whole room and really changed it all but uh I've been saying that I'll set it up for filming and I've been meaning to do it and it just spontaneously happened. I didn't expect it to happen then and I didn't expect it to happen how it did. But thankfully I was able to spend, you know, use what I had and create an absolutely perfect and beautiful room, perfect for filming. And it can also function as a bedroom. Obviously. And I'm just, I am so glad. I am so glad. So, yeah, that's it from the mess that it was. To the clean and beautifully decorated. Ready to be shown off in live streams and filming and blogs and podcasts and vlogs. I gotta admit, it's a lot of hard physical work, but I really do like interior decorating. <laughs> if I could, I would get an interior decorating degree. Pray for me that I managed to get the money to do that. But <laughs> So, you know, but I'm serious. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for now. Even though you might feel that you're poor and you don't have very much stuff, you can work with what you have. That was a dress that I ordered that was supposed to be gorgeous and it turned out awful and I just tore out the seams and now I'm using it to cover those ugly, ugly bins, you know? And this is some masonite board that I had put latex paint on forever ago uh, back when I was early 20s late teens and I'm now using it as a desk you know and what's holding it up are these blue I might as well show you if I can pull it up at all these blue yeah I can't pull it up I got it tucked under tight um, but they're these blue Rubbermaid bins and looking at the room before you never would have you know, I never would have suspected that I could have made a desk out of those bins and this board. I thought it was just kind of basically tossable. Show them, you know, try to unload the bins as much as possible, which obviously I have. You know, looking at this room, you can tell I have. But, um, you know, you just unload the stuff from the bins and you put it out for decoration. And you don't need any decorating degrees you don't need to buy all this fancy new furniture or anything you just work with what you got and you have functional items that actually look very very good so there you go so now it looks gorgeous and it's ready to go and I'm quite proud. Well, that's it.